So now the first thing you want to do is get the juice flowing from the berries. So if you just watch it drip down into here, we are going to smush. Here comes the first drop. Here it comes. Just, just, yay, there's the first drop. And now it will keep on continuously dropping in until I choose to stop mashing it. And I won't do that for a while. So I'm going to keep mashing and keep mashing. And you can just watch the, the juice flowing, literally flowing, guys, down into the bowl. Now, this is not how you make real jam. I have absolutely zero idea how they do that. Uh, but this is still good, and you can still spread it on your toast. Easier than it, um, normal jam, actually. Um, easy, easy, more easily than store-bought, but yeah. So, yeah. If you know how to make jam, you can leave a comment. Unless the comments are turned off again. I never know why that happens. It just randomly does it. So we're getting a lot of juice in here. And uh, it, whoa. That looks convincingly like blood. Okay, so um, I don't know if you guys can see, but that looks a lot, a lot like a big drop of blood. That's what that looks like to me, uh, but it's fine. So here, let's keep going. And we are making jam, peeps. We're making jam, people. And here's what we're left with. This sticky, ooey gooey, seed thing, seed full mess. But I'm gonna keep mushing a little bit more. And uh, I know we did a video of this with our friends um, two years ago, I believe. Yeah, it was two years ago, I'm pretty sure. Comment below if you know when we put out the video Jam Fiesta. I'm pretty sure that was two years ago. Alright, so I think we've got it pretty good here. Just gonna do a final mash. Okay, that's as good as we're going to get it. So now, I'm going to add them together. And there it goes. And I can just get... Oh, it's bubbling. Wow. Okay, um... Just... Put this down over here, and that'll be fine. Now, I'm gonna tilt the tripod up a little bit more. So you guys can kinda see in. I'm gonna stir it together. So the seeds and the juice are mixed well together. And if the, all the juice isn't going through the strainer, that's fine. It's not supposed to. When you, when you add it back together, it'll all go together to make this. This yummy, ooey gooey jam. Well, it's not ooey gooey at all, but it's just good. Okay, I'll go get some sugar, and I will be right back. All right, so I've gotten some sugar. And uh, I am going to add it, not all of it, just a little bit, and just a little bit at first, and then if you want you can taste test it. I've done enough jam that I think I can just eyeball it. Uh, we haven't added sugar in the past, but we have this year, and I think I'll add a little bit more and that should be good. And now we're just gonna stir that in. Make sure we stir it in really well, guys. And that looks like your typical Adventures of Henry, Katie, and Charlotte jam. And here it is. 
The Adventures of Henry, Kitty, and Charlotte Jam. So there it is. We'll take it inside and we'll show you guys well, the finished result.